This is the Dan Electro D5 Fab Chorus. This is, my friends, the cheapest guitar pedal I have ever purchased. I got it off of Amazon, brand new, tax and shipping, for $14 and change. It edges out my uh, Arion SMM1 as the cheapest guitar pedal I have ever bought, even without counting inflation. That is less money than I've even paid for my guitar cable. And when something is that cheap, even if you are not in the market for cheap things, it's worth finding out if it's any good. I mean, if it's any good at all, it's worth having one. So today we're going to look at it and find out, is this indeed a fab chorus? Or is it a drab boris? I don't know what I'm talking about. So the first thing I want to talk about is the build quality and the design of this pedal. So the case is plastic. And the first thing that everyone says when they hear about a plastic case is, oh, it's not roadworthy, it's going to break. I don't know what you guys are doing to your pedals on the road. I've toured. I toured for six years. I toured with plastic things. They didn't break. Now, maybe your shows are a little more energetic than mine were. I don't know. But I don't think you're going to break this thing. It's pretty thick. It's pretty sturdy. However, there are a couple things about the build quality that concern me. Uh, the first one is the foot switch. I have seen the innards of this thing, and that foot switch is mighty small and flimsy. I would be concerned that it would wear out after after a while. So, yeah, there there is a concern there. Uh, next, we got the jacks. So if you can see that there, uh, those are cheap jacks, right? They're like plastic, okay? If you are someone who's plugging in and plugging out all the time, that could be a problem. If you're someone who just, you know, puts it on a pedal board and leaves it plugged in, probably going to be okay. Uh, the other concern I have is here on the back. Hold on a second. All right, I've taken the back plate off of this thing. As you can see, uh, this is where you put the battery in. There's the battery clip. And that screw right here, this is metal, and it goes into plastic threads. So uh, even the few times that I've had it on and off, you can already see the plastic is getting white. I would assume after a while that's going to strip out. So if you're someone who still uses 9-volt batteries, and you may have problems with this. So those are my main concerns with build quality. As far as the design, the Dan Electros, they've got this kind of retro 50s look. And this one's kind of going for that. This one's kind of going for that, but I feel like they just kind of phoned it in. You know, it just doesn't look as cool as some of their other lines. They've got that really cool line of pedals. It's got like the food names, you know. Those are really classy looking. These these just kind of look like, you know, not so much like a 57 Chevy, but maybe like a spare part that fell off a 57 Chevy. I don't know. Not real exciting. Uh, ergonomically speaking... I don't really like these. I understand there's there's some value to putting the knobs that way uh, because, you know, you're less likely to kick them, less likely to snap them off, I guess, as you're trying to hit this pedal switch. But the problem with them is, unless you are in about a range from here to here, you can't see what your knobs are set to. If they're cranked one way or the other, you can't see that without literally picking up the pedal and facing it towards you, right? Like this. So that's a problem, especially if you've got it mounted to the pedal board. Uh, the other thing is, for some reason, left is maximum and right is minimum. And that feels really backwards to me, and I'm always getting it wrong. English readers, we read from left to right, so it just would feel natural to me that left would be down and right would be all the way up. Uh, whatever, so kind of fail there, Dan Electro. But hey, for 14 bucks, I'm not complaining. All right, let's check out how this thing sounds. So I've got my Washburn WI64 plugged in, going into the Fab Chorus. It's going out to my custom Tube 12 amplifier. Um, let me click this off. Let me give you my clean tone. <laughs> Alright, the 
there's three sounds that I want to get out of a chorus. The first one is that thick, rich, uh, just really deep chorusy sound. And we're going to get that by turning the depth all the way up, the speed all the way down, and just adjusting this mix knob to taste. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's nice. Let's bring the mix up a little. That's just beautiful. It's really beefy. It's just swirly and chunky. There's a little bit of a delay to it, which I like. Um, that's nice. I, it sounds a little digital. I'll give him that. And I know for a fact it's a digital pedal. I've opened it up and looked at the chips. And obviously in this price range, uh, that's what you can expect. But it still sounds really nice. Um, it's all I can do not to play some like Andy Summers or something because I don't want to get a copyright ding. All right, so let me get the other sound that I like to get out of a, a chorus pedal. And this is more of a Rotovibe, Leslie simulation kind of sound. So I'm going to turn the depth down, not all the way. I'm going to turn the speed up all the way. And let's check this out. That's maybe a little intense. Let's back up the mix. Okay, we'll back down the depth just a bit. That's nice. That's something you can just subtly mix in if you're just holding out chords. Adds a little depth, a little animation to that chord. Uh, just makes it breathe a little bit more than if you just doing it dry. Uh, so the third sound we can get out of this uh, that I like to get uh, is just a double. So we're going to do that by turning the depth all the way down, the speed all the way down, and we're just going to crank the mix. <laughs> just add some thickness. It doesn't sound uh, modulated. It's not modulated actually because we have the speed all the way off and the depth all the way off. Uh, but you do get that double, that real quick delay. It just kind of beefs it up, makes it a little fatter. One thing uh, I don't like about this sound, um, and it's not a big deal but it is kind of a negative, is that you get a noticeable volume boost between the pedal being on and the pedal being off. Let me just show you that real quick. So here's off. Sorry about the tuning there. Here's the pedal on. So that is noticeably louder and that's understandable because you're basically mixing in a duplicate signal. However, if you're in a live situation, and you don't happen to want your chorus sound to suddenly be a lot louder, that could be a problem. As far as uh, what it does to the tone, I don't detect any serious damage to the tone. I still got my highs, I still got my lows. It maybe beefs up the lows a little bit because that could just be the fact that it's louder and so it's pushing the preamp a little harder, pushing the speaker a little harder. It just seems like it's a little more low end. Um, but overall, I'd say it's pretty neutral with regards to the tone. Now, if I push into this with, say, a compressor or something, I do also get a little distortion. I'm going to actually, I'll switch over to my humbucker and we'll see if we can hear that. Yeah, 
you got a little bit of that barking dog there. So it will distort a little bit. Gonna get a little overdrive. So you wanna watch your volume. And that's really, that's the loudest my guitar gets. So um, not a huge deal. Not a deal breaker for $14. Chorus is not just for guitar. I live through the 80s. Chorus is for everything. So we're going to try it on some bass too. I've got my Ibanez GSR 206 here. I've got it run through the Fab Chorus and down into the amp. So let's check out my clean tone. Let's try the chorus. I've got it on that first patch, that thick, rich chorus. So as you can hear, I still got my low end. That's not a problem. It's nice and thick. What can I say? I think that sounds great as any chorus ever sounded on a bass. So there you have it, folks. The Fab Chorus is pretty fab. D5, D alive. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Anyway, definitely worth every penny of $14 and change. By all means, if you don't have a chorus pedal in your rig and... You've got $15 or so to spare? Grab one of these. It's good stuff. As always, thank you for watching. Please check out my original tracks, and uh, God bless.